Moisture floats in the air around the planet. When that moisture, or water vapor, becomes concentrated in a narrow band that extends across oceans or continents, it's known as an atmospheric river. Atmospheric rivers happen around the world. Just like the jet stream is a concentrated band of wind within the steering winds, an atmospheric river is a ribbon or plume of air with much higher moisture content than surrounding air. It carries fresh water as moisture from the tropics to higher latitudes. To a meteorologist, that plume is at least several hundred miles wide, and it could be well over a thousand miles long. Sometimes atmospheric rivers can be much longer than that, like this one in 2017, which extended from Japan to British Columbia. Over the Pacific Ocean, atmospheric rivers are frequent in winter, varying in strength and number as a normal seasonal cycle. The phrase, atmospheric river, has been used by meteorologists since at least the 1990s. A nickname for an atmospheric river that flows from the Hawaiian Islands to the west coast of the U.S. or Canada is Pineapple Express. Atmospheric rivers are important because they deliver large amounts of moisture to land, which can benefit agriculture and water resources, or they may overwhelm communities when they stall, resulting in flooding of rivers, lakes, and streets. On the west coast of the United States, atmospheric rivers also deposit tremendous snowfall in higher elevations. That also may be good or bad, depending on how fast the snow falls and melts. Landslides and mudslides may happen in mountainous areas. Heavy precipitation from atmospheric rivers often comes along with a low-pressure storm system, sometimes called a cyclone, which can generate damaging wind equal to a tropical storm or a hurricane. All of that creates challenges for travel. Because of such a large impact from atmospheric rivers crossing the Pacific Ocean, where there is limited weather data, the U.S. Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunters fly winter missions to drop data buoys into the ocean and gather more weather and ocean information so that scientists can better understand and predict how and where atmospheric rivers form and how long they may last. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.